As Nigeria faces a food inflation rate of 44.66%, agricultural experts have asked the federal government to turn to biotechnology to combat this crisis. Experts say many global economies have successfully embraced genetically modified organisms and Nigeria should follow suit to address its food inflation challenges. Loma Oyemachi has the details. In Nigeria's federal capital territory, shoppers move from one stall to another, searching for the best deals on food items, but sellers have remained firm in their prices. Peace on Umebu, a food and provision store owner, shares her frustration at the current state of the economy. Today you will buy this thing. Tomorrow when you come to buy another one, eh? it will be another different price. Everything in Nigeria is just very difficult. They don't have options. They have, they have quarreled and do everything, but they will still buy because it's not our, our fault. It's how we buy, we sell. We won't sell below. We are, we are suffering, but God is with us. The prices nowadays, we don't understand how the thing is going. We buy things today, tomorrow you will hear that things have had money. So we are, we are only praying to God to help us. According to the Nigeria Bureau of Statistics, Nigeria's inflation rose to 33.95% in May 2024, up from 33.67% in April. A year ago, the rate was at 22.41%. Food inflation, however, has reached an all-time high of 44.66% compared to 24.83% in May 2023 and 40.53% in April 2024. Contributing factors have been listed to include insecurity and climate change. The floods, the droughts and the storms are a major challenge in this part of the world and they affect the, they affect the output that come out from the farms. In the past, we could we could always see um, what you could you could anticipate what would come out from what you planted, but cl climate change is now affecting the output because you can't even predict when the rain is going to come. The federal government, through the Ministry of Agriculture and Food Security, has been promoting food security with initiatives like funding for grains and introducing agro-mechanization. However, an expert suggests another solution, agricultural biotechnology and genetically modified organisms, noting that the price hike is shocking. I'm very bad to hear that. That a cup of gari this time around is about... 150, 200 naira a cup of it. And the uh, mudu of gari is 3,000 naira. It's something that I cannot talk, talk of beans. The hack of the price of uh, everything started when there is a hack in petroleum. Started there. Insecurity is another problem that all of us are facing. So I want to tell you, without science, we are nowhere. Without innovation, we are nowhere. The National Biotechnology Development Agency has been advocating for wider acceptance of GMOs, introducing crops like cotton, cowpea, and tela maize very recently. NAVDA promises higher yields and resistance to damage. NAVDA will not renege in its commitment to utilize the biotechnology to tackle the diverse social economic challenges that impede sustainable national development. Concerns about GMOs have also been addressed. It is intended to alleviate fears about their unproven effects. This achievement exemplifies our commitment to harnessing the power of biotechnology to address pressing agricultural challenges, enhance crop res uh, resilience, and improve the lifestyles of our people. By safety is there to guide and make sure that nothing wrong in the GMO we have in Nigeria. And the one thing is good thing in Nigeria is that the GMO we are having is a product of IAR. Globally, the use of GMOs is widespread. As according to Statista, the United States leads with 71.54% million hectares of land exclusively for GMO crops followed by Brazil at 52.8% and Argentina at 24%. Close to home, South Africa, which adopted GMOs in 1998, has dedicated 2.7 million hectares to their production, with 100% of cotton 
95% of soybean and over 85% of maize being genetically modified. As Nigeria grapples with soaring food prices, many believe that the integration of biotechnology and GMOs might just be the lifeline needed to stabilize the markets and ensure food security and biodiversity for the country. Uloma Oyemachi, TVC News, Abu.